Hello everyone, this is Vicki Stitch and Button, and I am here to do the unboxing of my 12 Days of Christmas bag. Now, I am going to release one of these every day from now on until they are done. That's going to be all 12. I'm going to do all my filming right now, though, and just release the parts as they go. So you're going to see this 12 times. Enjoy. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that purchased the box. I was very happy, very pleased with everyone that wanted it. I was glad with the with the feedback on it. And I really, truly hope that everybody enjoys the box. Um, took a long time. It was worth it, I think. I think. Uh, so let's get on with it. When you open up the box, the bag is not is not wrapped. So that's not one of the surprises until you know you get the box there's your first gift honestly so the bag is this this is one of my standard stitch and button bags here is the outside fabric and there's the inside fabric and it comes with the project card now spoiler alert i have enough of this fabric left over because i way overbought that i will offer these bags next year for christmas so if you missed out on getting the box and you really like this fabric, look for them to come out next year. I'll be making bags and I can make ort books and I can make trays. So there'll be stuff made with this fabric. So you get the bag. Then you get 12 packages all wrapped up and numbered. Some of mine are not wrapped for different reasons. I just said, forget it. So <laughs> I just kept mine off to the side. Now, with the bag, you get a little letter, and it says 12 Days of Christmas 2022. This box was created with the idea of having the bag, <clears throat> and then 12 individual gifts to open during 12 Days of Christmas. The first day of Christmas is, de is December 25th, so you would open the package with the one sticker, and then the rest in order. You're free to open the contents as you please, but, please, but I do ask that you not post any spoilers on the group page. So I did ask that, you know, I, I know somebody posted the bag with all the gifts in there still wrapped up and they posted the front of the bag. That was fine because you're going to see the bag anyway when you open up your box. I know some people did not choose to open the box at all and just put it under the tree. That's fine too. I do want to thank um, everyone that purchased and I want to thank uh, people that helped me make this possible. Three of the people that helped me make this possible are Hummingbird, Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery, that's Sammy, Sammy J Stitches. Dreamer Bug is Lexi, that's Sammy J's daughter. And Fox and Rabbit Designs, Karen and Bren over at Fox and Rabbit Designs. And also my friend Gina that helped also. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you get the little letter with the very <laughs> scant instructions because there's not much to say. Uh, first day of Christmas. So you've opened up your box, you see your bag, and then the first is this ornament. I made, I made all 60 of these. <laughs> so you'll have an ornament for your tree. I figured this should be the first gift to put on your tree while it's still up, right? Now I know, uh, tradition when I was growing up was to keep the tree up until the 6th, take it down to on the 7th for what they called Little Christmas in South Philly. Um, not sure. I know that other people that I've spoken to said they've never heard it called Little Christmas, but that's what we called it. So we always ha had our tree up, Santa put it up Christmas Eve, and then we took it down the 6th or the 7th or so of uh, January. So we had it up for the whole season. So this is gift number one. See you tomorrow for gift number two.